So I just dislocated my knee and it wouldn't go back in. So very often my knee subluxates, which is where it dislocates and then quickly pops back in, like goes out, goes in. It's painful, but it's not too bad. And uh, but when it dislocates, it goes out and you've got to put it back in. And and uh, just now it it went out and it wouldn't go back in. And the thing is, lately... I've been having loads of hip dislocations. I haven't had knee dislocations for a while now. And I just totally forgot how to put it back in. Um, <laughs> and in fact, there, I think there's a video from two years ago on this vlog where I actually talk about it going and then me putting it back in. Um, and someone in the comments or maybe on the Facebook comments said, how did you how'd you put it back in, you know, and I, and I told them, and I couldn't remember, so I had to actually Google and go online, how'd you put your knee back in, and, uh, and it was, yeah, I was trying all these different things, nothing would work, I, I Googled it, and then I was like, oh yeah, that's what you do, did it, and then, uh, click, uh, it, it, it's, it's not, it wasn't a very loud click, was it, Shay? No, um, I heard it. And, and then it was back in, and, oh, I feel so good now it's back in, I mean, my knee hurts right now, but it really does feel good, uh, for it to be back in, uh, so that, that's, uh, uh, just wanted to share that, and I guess I'm also thankful that the fact that I've forgotten how to put it back in shows that actually my knees have been getting better, my hips have been getting worse, but my knees have been getting better, so that's something to be thankful for, uh, so those of you who've been praying for me, please keep praying for me, uh, maybe praying for my memory as well, so I can remember how to, how to uh, deal with these things when they happen.